for years, uh, I wanted Uhura to kick ass. I'm like, I just, I don't care. I don't, I don't care if I'm kicking or punching something or someone. I just wanted, you know, I wanted, I wanted her to sort of be a little more physical. And and he literally, when I when I came back, he was like, "You asked, and you shall receive." <laughs> and that was tons of fun. This is the kind of film that 3D was made for, uh, was created for. It's just, uh, it's an adventure to see all these sets and to see all these shuttles and to be in space and the stars and everybody navigating and the shooting and and the aliens and everything. You want to see it in a multi-dimensional uh, way in order for you to fully enjoy it. And uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to it a lot. Spock is is such a committed. Uh, uh, person um, that he's willing to always give up his life uh, for for his team for for what he believes in and I don't, and I don't think that's starting to sit well with Ahura um, because she definitely would like to feel like anybody that's in love would like to feel that she probably would have some kind of relevance in his psyche that would that would compel him to go wait a minute let me think about let me let me recoup myself and he just doesn't so obviously that causes her to question why is she you know with him and 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 what is it about Spock that that she's you know she's always been taken by and uh and that's that that I was really happy with that with that continuation of the relationship of, of their relationship Zach is such a classy man, you know, by nature. Uh, and then Spock was always known for being so gracious. Leonard Nimoy really uh, created a very gracious Vulcan. And, and Zach, it was, it's sort of like it just, the, the ring just fit, you know, so easily. I think she's coming to terms, finally, that this is a very stressful, high-strung profession that she's in and you know I think the biggest question that popped up for me and I guess for Uhura as well is do I have what it takes to sacrifice my life for my for my team for my people for my ship uh, for the cause for the principles that I believe in um, you know that to me was sort of what resonated the most about this story, about this, this sequel, is that you're seeing the shift of kids to adults and taking on bigger responsibilities and accepting the path that they each have chosen. Non-stop um, anxiety-driven plots that will keep your mind racing and you'll have to really stay focused to, to keep up, which is great, because it's, it's never a dull moment. Um, extremely deep, deep relationships, bonds that are being created, bonds that are being broken, and yet, you know, all these people have the responsibility to save the day.